Check this out. Now, I was reading on the Kali.com and somebody made a post asking, what was it about DMX that made him so appealing? Considering the fact that he was a New York dude, what made him so appealing to everybody else on the outside in? I'm going to give y'all the breakdown of what really go, what really went down. See, around 1997, 96, 97, around the time where Pac got killed, the industry was looking for somebody that was going to fulfill that void in a way. Now, we had a lot of superstars. You had Jay-Z, you had Nas, you had Puffy, you had Mace, Busta Rhymes. You had all those guys out there, but see, Jay-Z was still a very assertive type guy. He didn't really have the charisma. Same as Nas. Nas don't really, he didn't really like doing interviews like that. What, what the people was looking for was somebody to bring the energy that Tupac Shakur had, the, the charisma, the, the flair, the swagger. The ability to connect with an audience that didn't have anything. People that, someone that related to the struggle. Because at that time, Nas was seen as a sellout with the pink suit shit. Jay-Z, he already missed, he was, he, he already misfired with the In My Lifetime Volume 1. Even though that was a dope album to me, one of my favorites. When he came out there with the sunshine video. So, nah, them dudes didn't have it. They were more so trying to reciprocate the biggie formula. And that may have fit them and that may have fit them better, but DMX, he fit the two pot Shakur formula perfect. They were even looking at C Murder. But see, C Murder was wild. Like he was too wild. Very X was wild, but X also had charisma. C Murder was a was straight up villain. In them streets. He was scared the hell out of them execs. But he had a lot of two pots flair, but he really was what he was all about. But DMX on the other hand, he had that grittiness. He had that ability to relate. That's why. Like I said in the last video, anybody that wanted to take a picture with X, anybody that wanted to have a conversation with X, he was very approachable. He had the Muhammad Ali, people's champion factor about him. And that's what people love. It was more to so than just being a goon. You had to have the ability to captivate masses. You had to have the ability to bear your soul to where people could feel your pain Tupac had that gift he wasn't afraid to express his vulnerabilities and DMX had that so that's how he was able to excel in a lane where he did I remember back in 1998 when X came out and I was like damn now nah, we was thinking Nas was going to step up we was thinking Nas was gonna step up and officially be that dude, but damn, we let yeah, damn, and DMX then came through, crushed the buildings. Where you at, Esco? <laughs> but see, it was an interesting time because see, Jay Z stepped up. Jay Z stepped up, and I would like to compare this to the popularity of Stone Cold Steve Austin in The Rock. Jay Z and DMX were neck and neck. Same way Jay-Z was emerging like The Rock did, Stone Cold had 98. He locked down 1998. Let's say like DMX locked down 1998. They were neck and neck when it comes to popularity and competition. Hard Not Life did 5 million. DMX had two home runs that year with two multi-platinum albums, breaking two, not breaking, but tying Tupac's record. The Survivor, the Illust Tour, the crazy amount of guest appearances that that man has made from 97 all the way to 98 is crazy. So, 
Seeing Jay Z and seeing DMX compete like that was like watching Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire go at it for the home run crown. It was a beautiful thing to see, and you had to live through it. But what made DMX special was he had the People's Champion era, and people loved that. How would you think that he was able to sell? He was there able to go platinum, have six or seven number one straight albums. That's impossible to do. It's a rarity to do. And he accomplished that. Just because he was the person that can relate. The women loved him. The women loved him because he was able to tap into that and to tap into their emotions. Just like Tupac did when he had Dear Mama. When he put out Keep Your Head Up, X followed that formula and it made him a superstar. I remember when how was going down drop, man, women went crazy over this cat. Jay-Z, he can't he couldn't put out a song like that. Nas couldn't put out a song like that. None of them dudes that came up around him, Noriega, Pun, none of them dudes could captivate an audience like X like that. Even though Pun, he had the charisma when he dropped Still Not a Player, how it's going down, that was that pock ish right there. And I saw and I saw this, yeah. DMX got this. He's a star. So that's what made DMX stand out in the midst of his peers. People were looking for that Tupac energy, and he was the one to fulfill that void for a long time. It's just unfortunate that his run to the his 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 reign on top didn't last but a couple years. I wish he would have kicked the habit and stayed the course because he should have been right now enjoying the fruits of his labor. We should have been getting the Murder, Inc. album with Jay-Z and Ja Rule and him now because all three of them brothers were successful. But nevertheless, DMX will still go down as someone that made a pivotal impact in hip-hop. He changed the guard to where we needed that realness. And he was the one to fulfill that void. So, rest in peace, DMX. I know people are like, man, how many DMX videos are going to come with? I'm like, look, as Jesse Ventura would say, I am not no Johnny come lately. I've been rocking with DMX going back to the days. You see, you hear the dirt bikes in the background. I've been rocking the DMX in the back since, since, since the DMX versus cannabis mixtape era. How many of y'all have those? When I first heard this brother on 4321, I knew it, man. I knew this guy had the sauce. I knew this guy had the sauce to be the next guy. So that's my take on it. I've been rocking with X for a long minute. Bought all four or five of his albums, his first albums. So... Anybody that's coming over here on the comments talk about, oh man, you doing DMX videos for clout. Nah, man, I've been a fan of the dog. Don't make me post up my receipts. Don't make me post up those receipts. So yeah, rest in peace, DMX. From a longtime fan, thank you for your contributions to the culture. Be sure to check out this tribute show we're going to do for him tonight on Screwball Radio with Black Poet and Comet. 9 p.m., 6 Pacific, 8 Central Time. Holler at me.